Hey YouTube, this is Eric and Caroline's Reef, and um, I kind of wanted to show you a couple of issues that I'm having with the Kessel lights that I caused uh, because I, when I got the second Kessel light, uh, 160, I turned the intensity up to 100%. And I messed up a bunch of our corals, didn't I, Caroline? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We messed up our corals. Yeah. I, what did I do? Did I bleach them? Um, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I turned them white. And I'm going to kind of focus in a little bit and try to get a little bit closer. This was a nice pink uh, monopora, and it was growing, and it was doing really well. But now it's kind of white. And you can see this one over here is green. And I put that one after. And it's kind of doing all right. Yeah, it's kind of doing all right. But the one right there is kind of sticking to the plate one. Yes. Those those are the zoanthids. Now, there's a favia right there that really got bleached out. But it's recovering. Mm -hmm. Because I turned both of these Kessels from 100% uh, to... Uh, I just went right down to 15%. So, for any of you guys who have LEDs or start with Kessels, you really got to take it easy with the intensity. Uh, start off real low, and then kind of work it up a little. Now, this Acro right here, it's still alive, so it's but, still alive, but it's, some it, of them... it's just not looking good at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't, how, I don't right. see how it's good. Right. So another question I have in is that I have a 60-gallon tank here, and I'm kind of thinking that maybe I have too much rock. What do you think, Caroline? Yeah, I think I think you have too much rock. I yeah. Think you have like um, I think you have like. So one five of rocks. one of the things that I did when I created this aquascape was I wanted to make sure there's plenty of, of room for the fish. So I'm gonna kind of come around here. Kind of go the long view here. Swim around. And I did make sure that there's plenty of swimming space in the back there. So these fish, they can go all the way around yeah, the tank. They can go all the way around the tank area. That's right. So I'm going to come back around here. But I'm still kind of thinking that maybe there's just too much. But once your corals start growing, Chase. Uh, you don't, there's not really much, it's kind of hard to remove rock because yeah, you, they're, they're already starting to grow on it. Yeah, because look how they're growing on it. Yeah. You don't understand. Yeah. If our, if our rock, even though we have enough room, doesn't mean we have that many. I still, I'm still wondering. Mm -hmm. How do we, how do we make the tank special? How do we make it special? Yeah. By taking our time and looking at the corals and let them talk to us, and not being too crazy about it, you know. So we, so we be careful on it. That's right. We be careful on it. Okay. Let's back up and see if, if the yellow tang will come out a little bit. But anyway, just don't overdo it with the intensity at first. Because these guys, they they will just burn the zooxanthellae off of the corals and just bleach the heck out of them. So, you didn't know zooxanthellae is our special part. It's a special what? Like part. It's a partner. Partner. Yeah. Right. Uh. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, anyway, I just wanted to see what you guys think. And uh, looks like the yellow tang is going to hide. Every time we get in front of the tank, the guy just uh, doesn't really like to come out too much. So, if you all have any ideas or thoughts about it, let us know. Say bye, Caroline. Bye. Bye.